So I have some absolutely huge, really big, really cool, fantastic. I think it's awesome. Um, so I'm back out here on New England mountains. Uh, I was just finishing up one of my moose drink times. I, I've been going around a lot. Uh, not one point. You probably saw it there. Um, I found this. Could be him, but uh, piebald uh, disturbed vegetation right here, which is from a coyote. It was fresh when I found it. I had to quit and start recording. Um, I probably spooked him when I was just doing my last. Oh no, those are his tracks. Those are probably the fresh tracks, I guess. Um, really crazy. Must have been resting over there. I must have spooked him away. Um, I don't remember what max weight is, but I feel like. Uh, the 21 and 24 is a max weight for a coyote. I could be wrong on that, so I apologize if I am. Um, we're going to try to get after him here. I do have the uh, 243 on me, so we'll be able to take him out ethically, uh, which is important. But we're going to track him down. Um, hopefully he hasn't gotten too far away here. And we're going to see what he proves to be. Oh, there he is. Was that the same guy? That is the same guy. Cool. I was about to say, I just checked and, and, and saw that there's not a max weight track, which adds up from being a level 5 over there. Um, 27 kg is the max weight, so I was a little bit off on that, but I would still say relatively close. Coyote is not an animal I can say I've hunted a lot of at all, um, but that's all right. We did just have eyes on briefly. Uh, fortunately, it wasn't a great time to see him because we didn't get to see much. So I couldn't really confirm what it, I don't actually know what he's going to look like. I don't. I have never, uh, in one of my games, seen a, a piebald coyote. So this will be a first for me. Um, so hopefully we can get eyes on and kind of see him in the open uh, soon. This terrain does make it rather difficult. There he is. Okay, good angle. We looks like we got something on him. All right, there we go. He's off. And he falls kind of behind a tree, so we can't really get a good look on him. But we got him down. I am hoping that was a good shot, as I have... Um, you might be wondering why my gun looks like this. I wanted it to kind of look like a Nerf gun. I feel like I succeeded. Um... Obviously not a nerf gun, though, as we saw it take down that coyote. Uh, and he didn't get too far. So that's cool. It's exciting. Um, and here he is. This is going to be my first look at a piebald coyote. Definitely different. Not what I really expected, just looking at him right here. Um, I, I can't say for certain that just seeing this, uh, if I didn't see its track if I just saw it running around. I can't say for certain I would have known it was a piebald, but definitely, definitely different than normal coyote. Awesome. Get him here. Piebald. Look at that. 46.75. Almost made gold. That would have been really cool. A little bit under that. But that's okay. If I, and I think if he, he weighed a little bit more, because he's at the bottom of his weight estimate, he might have made it. Um, but that's all right. We did hit that lung just barely. We almost spine and lung. That would, be, that would have dropped it faster, but not a big deal. Let us taxidermize that before I forget. That is such a cool find. Wow. Let me get a nice screenshot of this guy. There we go. All right. Um, we're going to go find a, a spot to, to put him up in the, in the lodge right now. Because uh, that was exciting. And we'll see what kind of spot we can get for him. And here we are back in the lodge here. We've got our new piebald coyote up on this little full body mount. Wanted it to be a full body mount so you can kind of see the whole, you know, the whole, whole model. And I think it looks great. Looks a little angry right now. That's kind of how we, uh, we set it up. Um, maybe he's a little upset about what's happening to our, you know, our black tail friend over there. Uh, could be that. <laughs> um, but we did have to move the uh, diamond raccoon that we had here. So uh, 
lot to consolidate things. As you can see, uh, I just made a, the multi-mount, so we combined our diamond alligator with our diamond raccoon. And that's the pose I'm going to go with. I like it. I think it's hilarious. They look like they're going to have a great time. No one's going to get hurt. Um, but that's what we ended up doing. As this room is, is nearing completion, as far as uh, you know, animals go, I suppose I can get some... Uh, some of the guns mounted and such, but um, that'll happen relatively soon. Um, but yeah, the lodge is coming together. It's very, very nice to see. But um, yeah, I think that's gonna we're gonna end up to end this video here. That's a little short one for you. So if you've made it this far, I appreciate you so so much. And um, yeah, so you're now leaving the danger zone. So stay safe out there, and I hope to catch you back here next time. Bye now.